Hi everyone, welcome to How to Draw and Paint. This is Sherry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a beagle. Begin by loosely drawing a circle on your paper, and you're going to do a curved vertical line and a curved horizontal line across the circle. These are the landmarks for your beagle's face. This is going to be a three quarter view of the beagle's face. Next, you're going to draw the snout, which is just a real simple box shape. And uh, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to perspective, so I'm not shooting for perfection. I'm just trying to get the basic form in. Just so I kind of know where I want things to go. Try to straighten out that line there. Looks a little mm, lopsided. And I'm going to go ahead and divide that box shape in half so I can align the nose properly. And uh, because this is a three-dimensional form here, I'm just doing a very basic uh, three-dimensional nose shape there. Next, I'm going to draw the eyes. Uh, it just looks like two uh, eggs, oval shapes, sitting on the ends. They're going to rest on that horizontal line there on each side of the snout. And real quick, just drawing the mouth in. You can already see the face is uh, taking form. Uh, now I'm going to draw on the ears. Uh, beagles have really large ears. They're very floppy, and I guess I think that's why they have such strong appeal. Um, so they're not, they're kind of triangular shaped, but because they're so big, uh, they don't have a very static form. They're very organic and floppy. So have fun with that, you know. I'm drawing the top of the head. Um, this is the bony landmark here of the dog's head, uh, of the skull. That's why that little pointy thing on the face is there. And I'm just going back and finessing over some of the lines. Now I'm going to start working on the rest of the head. Beagles have a very divine, defined shape, skull shape. And then there's the bottom lip. And now I'm going to draw the neck of the beagle. This is just going to be a bust drawing. I'll probably do a full body drawing eventually. But for now it's fun to start with the head. You've got a lot of character and expressions in the face. So I've gone back to the eyes and I am drawing in the pupils. And for dogs, um, they have really large brown eyes, so I'm not going to try to draw the iris. You know, I want to keep it really simple. It makes them look nice and friendly. And a couple of circles there for the highlights. And I'm going to round out that nose a little bit too. Now I'm going to go back over all my lines. I want to uh, define the form a little bit more. Make sure I get it just the way I want it before I outline everything. And if the, the drawing here uh, looks like it's going too fast, please, by all means, um, you know, you can pause it, go back and rewatch it. Um, that's the beauty of working on uh, video tutorials if you want to learn how to draw is you can stop it and start it and watch it over and over as many times as you need to. Uh, my workflow happens to be very quick. If I don't move quickly I get kind of stuck. So that's why I draw so quickly. And now uh, just a little bit of facial marking here. Beagles have uh, the white on the front of their face and then the front of their neck there so that's just to outline where that goes. So I'm ready to outline everything with my Sharpie marker and I'm starting from the top and I'm gonna work my way down from one point to the next. Very slow and steady. Point and pull. I'm going to make these eyes just a little bit bigger. It's hard to over-exaggerate dog eyes. 
they're very very expressive Now, if you'll notice the nose, um, it looks very dimensional here. I'm thinking I'll probably just fill it in with black later. Um, the reason why I made that line across the middle of it is more for you guys. So if you want to leave it black and white with no fill-in color or no shading, um, you know, that's, that's for you to use. It won't make a difference later on if you do decide to fill it in with the heavy black. But uh, it's always helpful to have that form drawn in anyway. Because it's something that you will remember um, in the future whenever you're drawing dog noses in general. And I'm going to outline the lips in black a bit. Do some of the whisker dots. He's really starting to come together. So now I'm going to erase all the lines since I'm done with that part of the drawing. This beagle turned out really nice. If anyone is wondering where you can find uh, this particular eraser that I'm using, it's called a kneaded eraser, or otherwise known as a gum eraser, and you can find it at arts and crafts stores or an artist supply store. You can also order them online. They're really inexpensive and they're really fun to play with too. They make great stress relievers. If you're or if you're bored and you want something to do, you can just play with it in your hand. It's a lot of fun. So now that I'm done erasing, I'm going to go back in, fill in the eyes with a solid black. If you decide to color, um, experiment with different shades, like maybe a very dark brown. And as I said before, I, I'm going to just fill this in with the black. Even though I already drew that line there. You could also put a highlight on the nose if you want. I decided not to worry about that this time around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shade in the beagle with a pencil because it's a little bit difficult to get the right shading with a sharpie marker because it would be a solid black. It would be a little bit too intense. So um, I'm just with a light to medium pressure. Uh, I'm using the side of my pencil to shade everything in. If you want to use hatch marks instead, that'll be fine. I tend to favor a smoother application, but that's just me. If you do decide to use hatch marks or pointillism, you know, where you use tiny little dots like, uh, uh, like some of the impressionist painters, just keep in mind that that will probably give the illusion of texture. So if you do want the dog to look like he's got you know very textured fur you could do that I found that beagles are very smooth uh, as far as their fur texture goes so I don't want to have too much uh, I would I think it would be distracting for my version anyway but uh, you guys should try it and see what you like best see what works for you so I've shaded in the beagle now I'm gonna go in and put in some stronger values where the shadows go. This is going to help uh, give the illusion of form, a little bit of depth. Shadows and light give the illusion of depth. And I'm mainly um, adding a little bit of shadow where there's crevices or where there's, say for here, for here for example, um, you know, the ears overlapping the, the head or the neck. 
Um, I'm also going to shade in around the eye. This is going to help make the eyes look a little bit bigger. And uh, dogs have these really intricate uh, bone structures as well on their skull, especially around the eyes. I mean, they do have expressions with eyebrows, so I didn't want this dog's face to look flat. And I'm doing a little bit over the white part of the snout and uh, just in front of the nose and the mouth. There's a little bit of gray there. And I left some marks on the paper. That happens. <laughs> um, no worries if that happens to you. Just erase it and move on. So there you have it. That's how to draw a beagle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as I did drawing it for you. Y'all have a great day.